Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in this video I'm going to be talking about the future of architecture and will there be any place for architects in it. Okay, I know that sounds a bit ominous but hear me out. In yesterday's video where I talked about BIM and the importance of learning new technologies, I kind of touched on the subject of programming and architecture and if you haven't seen that video I suggest you check out the link in the description of this video. These days programming has started kind of merging with every profession because it makes everything so much more efficient. Just imagine if you could kind of easily create any sort of command or sequence of command, how much more efficient your workflow would be. And when we're talking about this parametric design or programming architecture, you're probably seeing an image of some wild Zaha styled building. And yes, this is where we see most of parametric design and that's because when we're working with such weird shapes, the time savings when using parametric design are just enormous. I mean, if one of those buildings were designed manually, it would probably take over 20 years just to design. But as the technology develops, we're going to start seeing more of parametric design being applied to smaller and simpler buildings. We already have some programs that can kind of design a floor plan or a building shape using some parameters or rules that you set. For example, you can set the regulation lines, the minimum and maximum room dimensions, or maybe preferable lines of sight. And then this computer program basically takes everything into consideration. It runs through all the options and it gives you some optimal design options for your floor plan or your building shape. Now, I know as architects that we kind of feel that there are no rules to design and that a soulless robot will never be able to design as well as a human. But let me remind you about all the times when you designed something and were very happy about it, but then a month later you realize that you kind of missed out on a few very important things in that design. Now, when we combine this new parametric design technology with AI or artificial intelligence that can actually use 6D BIM models, which basically means some BIM models that record the whole life cycle of a building. So it records through time all the maintenance and all the replacements so it can make informed decisions using the mistakes of the past. So you basically have, have this machine that can run through an infinite number of options and then choose the best option and it can very efficiently communicate with the new autonomous building technologies like the road printer or the autonomous crane or the concrete 3D printer or even the bricklaying machine. And what's new and extremely exciting are the bricklaying drone as well as the 3D printing concrete drone. Now, I know some of these might seem a bit far-fetched, but keep in mind that these are technologies that are in their infancy. Just think of perhaps, I don't know, smart watches, how silly they looked like when they first came out, and look at them now. Well, when I think about it, they still look silly, but never mind, wrong example, but you get the point. I don't think that it's very far-fetched to say that in 10 or 20 years we're going to have just an app for designing our home, like one of those website building apps. And when you're done with your design, you just give it your credit card number and it charges you and in a matter of hours at your property you get your concrete 3D printing drones that fly in and build your new house. But unlike the driver industry that's being destroyed by autonomous cars and trucks, I think there's still a bit of hope for architects. But in order to survive, we need to rethink the way we look at our profession and our whole role in the building design process. We can't really look at buildings just as boxes for living and working in, because a computer can design these boxes for living and working far better than we can. Just like a machine can build a suit a lot faster and better than a tailor can. But one thing that machine can't do is create a bespoke suit that fits not only the client's particular body shape, but also his personality and style. For this reason, I believe that architects have to require a sort of a role of a psychologist that understands the whole psychology and the character of a person for which they're designing a home or a society in case they're doing a public building. And then the architect can just help out the AI to design a home that fits the person that's going to live in it in such a way that they never thought was possible. Okay, enough of my rambling, now it's time for you to tell me what you think. 
is everything that I said in this video completely silly? Or maybe you think our industry is completely doomed? Or maybe there's still hope and what do you think we should do? And how can we adapt to survive in the future? So tell me your opinion in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video and I will see you tomorrow.